Hello everybody, Science1324 here, and today I am back with this TV. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you go check out, there is a uh, tutorial that I did on how to turn this into an oscilloscope, um, or into a music visualizer. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually working on the next project, which is actually turning this into a functional oscilloscope that you can actually use. I've got the initial workings of the circuit going on here. And I wanted to show you really quick. Um, and I had a couple of you ask me uh, why I chose to undo the horizontal coil instead of the vertical coil. And I had I responded and I said I don't have a reason. I can't remember what it was. But I do have a reason. And if we go back here behind the TV, you can see I actually have the vertical coil plugged into this because the TV will actually not turn the electron gun on unless it has something plugged in this. And I tried putting just a resistor on here and it was like, nope, I'm not taking that. So I put this transformer on here because it has about the same resistance as the coil it was plugged into here on the back of the TV. So it accepted this. So now I've got a dot on the TV that I can manipulate with some other circuits like this one. So let me go ahead and turn on the power for everything here and show you, like I said, it's in the initial stages and at some point it will hopefully get there. I've been working on as much as I can here. And then as soon as I get it done, I will be doing a tutorial for you to show you how you can make it yourself. So let me plug in the television here. There we go, TV plugged in. All right, so we'll go ahead and power on the TV. And this should give us a dot. There it is. Oh, there you go, right there. So that's what this circuit here is doing to the dot on the TV. <laughs> and it's not enough voltage quite yet. I need to adjust the voltage a little bit, I need a uh, negative bias voltage to bring it down here. This is the positive voltage that's sending it up here. And if I hook it up to the horizontal coil, I can actually get it to do the same thing off to the side. So, um, like I said, I'm still working on the circuit for it. Once I get the circuit done, I will do a tutorial and I will upload a circuit diagram for how to do this to a TV and actually use it as a functional oscilloscope that you can plug stuff into and see the waves on. But at the moment, it's taking a little bit longer than I initially thought it was going to to put the circuit together. So unfortunately, I don't have the tutorial for it this week. I'll try and get that done as soon as I can for you guys. But I wanted to at least have a video, give you guys an update on the next project that I'm going to be doing a DIY tutorial on for you. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's scoot back here. You can see as soon as the voltage comes on, it jumps up. So... Ooh, I better check this. This gets kind of warm sometimes. Yeah, because it's running off of a 9-volt battery. If I undo the 9-volt... Oh, maybe. Then again, maybe not. Oh. Okay, it's not going to work. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not gonna mess around with it too much. Um, but yeah, so that is it for this week. So make sure you stay tuned, and as soon as I get it done, I will have the tutorial for how to turn this into an oscilloscope for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.